Hello, in this video I want to talk about GFCI outlets, where to install them and how to do that and also some other things that you might want to consider while doing so. So uh, first here GFCI outlets, you want to use those in moist areas like uh, your bathroom or garages and uh, so they protect you from current leaks this is their main job so current leaks like for example when the uh, current is flowing through you or through your body instead of back through the outlet and uh, so how many do you need to install and you need exactly one per circuit and you want to install these as the first outlet box as the first outlet that you use and after that uh, if you, when you chain some other outlets in there, you can use just regular outlets. And then before you begin installing, uh, always check the uh, NEC code and also your local code. So in my case, I want to install a completely new bathroom circuit. And in this case, the code requires me to install a 20M circuit dedicated just to this bathroom. And for that I am using here this 12 gauge NMB cable that is uh, made for 20 amp circuits. We have here the black wire that's the hot, then white neutral and uh, the bare copper wire that is ground. So and uh, my plan here is to install this GFCI outlet on the left side here. And then right next to it is just a regular outlet, also a 20 amp outlet. And I'm going to start out by removing all these cable clamps here, or at least three of them. Since I only have one wire going into this box, I can remove three of those clamps and just reduce the box fill here. And so that gives me a little bit more space to uh, have all the wires that I have in there. And now since I am using here a metal box I need to also ground this and for that purpose I have here this grounding screw. You notice this is like this green paint on it, green colored screw that you attach to the metal box. And in case you uh, have a plastic, plastic box then you won't have to do this since uh, Plastic is not a conductor. And next I'm going to feed here the uh, wire into the box. I'm doing this here from the bottom. And I have here already cut some of the insulation off. And I am going to feed this through at least 6 inches. That's what my code here requires. That's the NEC code. I'm actually pulling it through a little bit further. I'm doing like about 8 inches since I have enough space in this box for that. And easiest way to remember if you have this uh, correct length or the minimum length in here is by just uh, thinking of a dollar bill because that's just a little bit longer than uh, 6 inches. And now just so we don't forget later on I'm going to uh, tighten the clamp here holding the cable in place. Then I am going to ground the box. So for that I am taking here the grounding wire and I wrap it around the grounding screw and I do that in a clockwise direction as you see here because then when I'm going to tighten the screw this uh, the wire will really be wrapped around the screw here when you tighten the screw down. Okay so then now let's have a look at the uh, outlets that we're using. As I said before I have here this one GFCI outlet and then also a regular temper resistant 20 amp outlet and if we look here on the back side of this GFCI outlet then you see here already this yellow sticker that I already removed a little bit. That's where you connect the additional outlet. 
and then here where it says line on the top that's where the incoming wire from the breaker is going to be connected and now if we take a look at the back side here of the regular outlet then you see here these four ports and we're only going to use two of those one for the hot and one for the neutral and since we don't use the other two I'm just going to screw in these the unused two screws completely so that they don't uh, accidentally create a short inside of the box later on and now I am planning on connecting the two outlets together first and in order to do that I have like two little stubs of uh, wire here the black and the white and I'm going to connect the two here as I said before from the GFCI outlet this is here on the bottom right where it says charge and you can uh, stick here the wire straight into the connector and for that you just need to cut off some of the insulation from the wire and on the back side of your outlet there's like a little gauge that shows you how much of the insulation you should remove you can see this here on the bottom this little bar you just hold it up next to it and then here you can measure exactly how much of the insulation you're supposed to remove and i have already done this here and now since i have the white wire you see here on the back side it says white wire to the right which is where the silver screw is you just stick this in here and tighten it down and again remember this one the bottom one here in this case goes to the outlet to the additional outlet and now i just do exactly the same for the black wire the hot on the opposite side this is here the uh, black screw so now i can continue here with the second outlet and in order to connect that here with the uh, hot wire i created this hook at the end and i'm going to wrap that around the screw here for the hot port and i'm wrapping it around in a clockwise direction so that when i'm tightening the screw here now the screw will help pull this copper wire around the screw so you always want to do it in a clockwise direction All right and i'm just going to repeat the same for the neutral wire as well okay and so now this is all done and now we just have here these green screws left over so we still have to take care of that so those are for the grounding of those two outlets let us take care of that now so i have here this bare piece of copper wire and i wrap that around the grounding screw for the additional outlet again here in a clockwise direction so that it doesn't get loose and then back here at the outlet box i now have to connect the uh, grounding wires here together and to do that i have here this green grounding nut see here that has at the end here even this hole so you can stick one end of the wire completely through the nut and to me this is always the worst part which is why i do this last so i'm just twisting those together and i'm using the grounding nut to uh, connect them permanently and then the piece of grounding wire that sticks through the nut that i'm going to use to connect to the gfci outlet so that this is grounded as well and now i still have to connect the neutral and the hot to the gfci outlet that is coming from the breaker box and i already cut off the insulation to size and of course i also made sure that there is no power on the line so it's 
turned off at the breaker and I'm going to tighten those two screws down. And now before I finally install the two outlets here in the box, I'm double checking that all the connections are correct and uh, tight. And then I'm just folding the wires in a way that they can easily go into the box and and now I am screwing all the four screws on the top and on the bottom. And then there's also here the cover plate with the four small screws here. You don't want to tighten those too tight, otherwise the cover plate may break. And then once the power is on, you can see here the status LED here, this little light is lit up. And then we have here the test button. We want to push that on a regular basis to see if the circuit works and you see yes as I push it the light turns off here and this GFCI outlet works all right okay so I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions then please leave a comment below and uh, don't forget to check out all my other videos